Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome video. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, I have got a super quick trick for you today. I'm going to hit create brand new 3D design. Of course, I need to start by giving a shout out to Deirdre from Make Inspires. It is a wonderful makerspace in New York City. Make sure you check out their info in the description. Friends, step one is going to be to name it. I'm going to call this Cutting Magic. So real quickly, here's what Deirdre shared. We're going to bring out a cylinder, set it down. Let's quickly bring out the brand new sketch tool and let's make an ultra smooth cylinder. Check this out. I'm going to just go to these grid corners. Snap, 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 snap. Now, while we're in edit mode, we're going to grab all of it and we're going to simply click on smooth and bam, you have got a smooth cylinder. No more changing the sides to make it smooth. It just automatically is. I'm going to stretch the height. The one thing we do lose is the ability to bevel it. We cannot bevel the edges on this shape. But here's what Deirdre told me. She said that if you take a hole and add it to a shape, you don't have to group it when you send it to a slicer. Now, I have used this before. Flat out did not believe that this would work. Friends, let's do a test real quick. Raise this silly cube up. I'm going to select the two of these. Let's choose L for a line. I'm going to make the cylinder the master and choose center, front edge, and center. So you can see, if we look at this from a corner of the view cube, it's going to cut in, but I am not going to group those. Normally, that is what I would do right there to group it. But friends, we are going to ungroup this and send it to the printer in separate pieces. Now, if you don't want something to move, you can lock it. And friends, when you leave things locked and not grouped, it makes your Tinkercad projects run faster. Groups of groups can be a problem. I'll show you that in a separate video up in the corner. Right here, you can see I've got the two shapes selected. They're not grouped, and we're saving them as an STL. I'm going to simply call it Cutting Magic, leave it in my downloads, and let's hit save. Friends, I am working in Kira. This is Kira 5.8. Deidre was using Bamboo Studio, so this should work in any process slicer. Let's quickly add the file. Remember, it was in my downloads, and it's called Cutting Magic. Now, friends, check it out. It is cut in there, even though we didn't group it. Now, think about how long it takes to group some of your projects. By not actually grouping them, this makes your Tinkercad projects so much more efficient. What a cool technique. And once again, huge shout out to Deirdre for sharing it to me. Friends, this should work in all process slicers because she was using Bamboo Studio. If you can confirm it's working in other slicers, I would love to hear it in the comments. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is growing. Don't forget, you can check out the links down below or the bit.ly up above. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.